Okay, great. So um, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can add your profile as a member of our Africa business community so that people can globally search for your company uh, and its products, services and goods. And on our website, investinafrica.co, we uh, have a list of uh, members of our Africa business community. Uh, and once you're registered, you can add your own business opportunities here. It's all extremely searchable. You can search by keywords. So if you want to look for solar energy, agriculture, financial services, or any type of product, goods or services, you can do it here. You can look at where someone's based. Um, you can search by uh, business service required. Um, you can look for people in different sectors. So people who are perhaps in the energy sector, perhaps in the agriculture sector and so on. Uh, and some people might be based outside of a country where they're focused on. You might have an Australian who's particularly focused on Egypt, or you could have someone in the States who's only looking at uh, Morocco or South Africa and so on. So you can search also by country focus. These things are all important when you come to our Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard. So just going back to our homepage, there's lots of ways that you can add your profile in. You can um, join us free here. You can um, promote your company globally free or publish or get uh, Africa business opportunities free. So we'll just go to this click button here. Um, these are business opportunities that have been added by our members. And again, highly searchable here. Once you've um, logged into our Africa business opportunities dashboard, these will be filtered according to the countries and the sectors that you tell us uh, are your focus. So you won't see business opportunities that are not relevant to what you do. So I'm going to log in um, free here. Uh, this is the view that you get if you're on a desktop. Um, I'm using Google Chrome. You may not be able to see this so well, particularly if you're on a mobile view. Uh, if that's the case, then uh, we've got a little thing here, experiencing issues viewing the Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard. If so, you can click here to access the dashboard. So if you're on mobile view in particular, you can click there. But um, I'm just going to add in a random, uh, well, I'm going to add in an email address that I set up earlier for this purpose. Purpose. Ignore the email that's shown on the screen there. That was just a test, um, a test uh, email that we'd set up. In fact, actually, I'm registering, so I shouldn't really put the email in here. Uh, <clears throat> if you're already registered, you can add the email in here. Um, but using this test account, I'm not already registered. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to register here free. So we click on that button. Uh, it comes up with Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard Registration. I'm just going to put in my name here, which is we'll just use for the purposes of this exercise, Joe Blogs, job title, managing director. Company name is Big Africa Company. And I'm going to say that I'm based in the States. So it's just Google United States. And the email that I'm going to use is apsicevent at gmail.com. Apsic's an event that our team runs. It's become perhaps Africa's most important business and investment event globally. So you'll uh, learn more about that in due course. So we come back to the, um, the login page for the Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard. The email is in there now. We're going to log in. Uh, I'm just going to put my Gmail account in here. It's going to tell you that you're going to get a one you're going to get a one time password. And there it is. It comes through pretty quickly. Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard. You can have a look at this. Uh, there's the passport password four seven three four five. We just add that four seven three four five. We add that in, and this is going to bring you to the Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard. And when you log in the first time, uh, you can see it moves from the home page to the Mo My Profile page because we haven't added a profile in yet. So the system is forcing you to add your profile in here. And the reason for this is that uh, the business sectors that you're interested in in Africa. Uh, the countries in Africa that you're interested in are critical in order that you can have a look at uh, different um, opportunities and you can add your own opportunities as well. So when you're on this website, use the when you're on the uh, business opportunities dashboard, use these uh, 
uh, navigation options to navigate. Don't use the navigation options up the top, otherwise you'll come out of the dashboard. So um, we're going to add in my profile now, and in future videos, we'll talk about how to add in uh, business opportunities. So a lot of the information is already being carried through. You might want to put a recovery email in there so that we can assist you if you change job, for instance, and a recovery cell phone number. You might want to put in your uh, website. I'll just put in the website address for our event. Uh, and uh, you might want to put in a video, a video profile here. Um, these are all useful when you're connecting with people so that they can see that you're uh, really serious. Now, the next um, two fields are limited to a certain number of characters. Um, I would recommend that you fill these in as much as you can because they're going to be useful when people search for your you and uh, people who provide your services uh, in Africa. So the, the more information you provide here, the easier it will be for people who don't know you already to find you. So I'm actually just going to put in something uh, very brief in here because otherwise it will take too long for this video. In the company, I'm just going to replicate uh, the title and the company overview, and I'm going to put this company is a big operator in Africa in the agriculture sector. Um, I'm going to select a number of countries in Africa that are particularly of interest to me. So there's Algeria, let's say Egypt is particularly interesting to me. So I'll come down to Egypt. I uh, will go to Morocco. And you can add in all the countries in Africa if you want, Nigeria, but obviously not everybody operates in all countries in Africa. And I'm going to do South Africa as well. So those are the countries that I operate in in South Africa. Important because I'll be shown business opportunities in these countries and anything else won't be shown to me. And I'm in agriculture, I'm in agro-processing, and I could just choose food as well, for instance, there. Uh, my main business description, I might just put in here. You can choose what you are. I'm just going to put other for now, business sector, if you want. You can put, if you can't find your your business sector in the box there, you can put the business sector if it's not shown above there. Now this next bit's important. If I put yes, let's just put yes in here, uh, then you'll be shown on our website and you can be publicly uh, searched for. So let's just save that and, there, that's, and that's it. So um, the next stage, if you want to add and get business opportunities in Africa free, is uh, to refresh your page and to refresh your page you literally just click that refresh button there and that brings you back to the dashboard and we're now able to access these other bits of functionality on the africa business opportunities dashboard so that's how you add your your profile into our system um, and in future vis uh, future videos we're going to explain how the rest of the emails, uh, the rest of this system here works. Okay.